The dodo is extinction's poster child or poster bird, uh, ably supported by the great orc. Both of these went extinct due to persecution. So what causes the last gasps of extinction? It could just be that the population is driven persistently down until eventually the last individuals disappear. But there are four reasons why extinction becomes particularly likely a species becomes scarce. There's inbreeding, so small populations are more likely to be inbred, which has a range of consequences. There's demographic stochasticity, randomness, that means that if key individuals die or don't breed, then that can be critical for small populations. So for example, the heath hen was down to a small number of individuals, but they're all male, so it went extinct. It went extinct due to, due to demographic stochasticity. And then disasters. Disasters are a particular problem for species that are now at a small population size and a small range. Uh, they're more resilient when they're commoner and wider range. So Hurricane in Nikki in Hawaii knocked out five species or subspecies of birds. And then finally, there's the alley effect, that species do less well when they're scarce. Imagine a wind-pollinated tree or an aquatic species that releases its gametes into the water so that they fertilise. Or imagine a, a species dependent on group defence. None of those strategies work when species are scarce. So conservationists talk about minimum viable populations. And Ilka Hansky talks about an extinction threshold below which extinction becomes much more likely. And these both express the idea that the odds of survival uh, become much lower when species become very scarce. And that's due to inbreeding, demographic stochasticity, uh, disasters, and the alley effect. So if we're to stop other species joining these, we need to ensure that they remain at population sizes where these factors are less likely to come into play.